Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to be working with some fools, adding them on using Tacket. This has been requested multiple times in my Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr group. So let's get started. I'm using a 30 ounce straight skinny from Parish Tumblers. I have already painted my tumbler. It did not turn out the color I intended. My blue and green was too light, so I tried to add black and we ended up with this sage somehow. But really, it's fine because we will have that excellent coverage from PDB Creative Studio and we, will, we won't even see this color underneath. For glitter application, I decided to use the epoxy method. I used one to two milliliters of Artistry's one-to-one -one ratio fast set. You've seen me dab or tap around on my cup quite a bit this time and that's because my epoxy was starting to set up. So once you have epoxy all over your glove, you can sort of pat it or dab it around your tumbler and then it makes it a lot easier to smooth out in the end. And then I go back through tap all around the cup to give it a little bit of texture so you won't be able to see any streaks and I can move straight into glittering. This glitter is Polaris from PDB Creative Studio. It is an absolutely beautiful teal color. I sat that to the side for about two hours and then I put two layers of epoxy sanding in between so that we have a nice smooth surface to apply our folds. Now I found this image online and I will link that below for y'all, but it's more for a sublimation design. There's a shadow effect in behind the cow, so there's tons of tiny itty bitty specks that it would take a century for Cricut to cut. So I just printed it out and then hand cut it myself. I would have done an offset to fill in all of those tiny specks. However, there is so many, it just times out when you try to create an offset. Once I have that trimmed out, as you can see, I did leave a tiny bit of a black border around it so it would stand out from the textured vinyl. We are using copper textured vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and of course, we are going to hand cut this as well with probably about a 0 0.035 offset. And we're just going to apply this to our tumbler first before we add our fools, just to save us an additional epoxy step. Uh, I did want to tell you when printing out designs from your Cricut, if your Cricut program is not printing them out nice and vibrant, when you get to the print screen, there is a toggle button directly under that bleed toggle that says use system dialog. If you turn that toggle on, it will prompt you to select your system settings before it is printed and you can select photo and best quality and that is how you will get the most vibrant and best quality images printed from your Cricut program. Now I grabbed my tacket and I put just a tiny bit in one of my little medicine cups I use for mixing epoxy and a tiny little brush so I can get those small brush strokes and just went around the tumbler in random spaces and adding added in those brush strokes. You want these to be a little thicker. You don't want to glob it on there, but you definitely want to be able to see the white of the glue. If it's too thin, then your fools are not going to stick to your tumbler. If you haven't done a tumbler like this before, start small. You don't have to add on as many strokes as I am. To begin with, it's really easy just to build that up. And even still, after I added all of this on, I still added more in the end. So just take your time. You can add more if you don't have enough once you add your fools on. Once 
once I had on all of my glue, I went over it with my heat gun to dry it. Tack it dries tacky, of course. So once it is dry, then you can add on your fulls. I grabbed my Turner arm stand from Kimmy Page Boutique so that it would be easier for me to hold, popped on my tumbler, and then we were ready to add on our fulls. The ones that we are using are from Southern Belle Glitter. These are two of my favorites from her collection. She has a huge collection of fulls and even some that she has custom designed herself. I cut off just a little strip so it would be easier to handle and work with and just worked my way around the tumbler. Pressing down in small spots, I don't want to completely wrap it because we do have another fold that we're going to work with that I want to fill in some of those gaps. I don't want the strokes to be solid, so I'm using very light pressure and only putting down little pieces at a time. And then once I have pretty much used the majority of this strip, then I will go back around and just dab it so that you get those little bitty flakes and particles that help blend it together and break things up a bit. The two full colors that we are using is Wild Leopard and I think, don't hold me to it, but I think it is Mariah that has the copper tone to it. She has a tremendous amount of copper tones and weathered looking folds on her website. So the possibilities are endless and there are so many different ones that will match this particular design and this wild leopard is my top favorite i have used it i think in four or five tutorials now so once i added it on i had to add some more tacket so i could see more of the leopard in this which goes back to what i said in the beginning don't put your tacket on super heavy in the beginning go a little lighter you don't need a tremendous amount and then you can build up just like you would build up your coverage with glitter and an ombre, you can build up your folds to get to the point that you want in your design. Just make sure when you do add your tacket, you dry it completely before adding on your folds, or it is not going to work. If your folds are not sticking to your tacket after you have dried it, you do not have enough on, so it is not sticky enough. Go back over the areas, add a little bit more on, and then re-dry it and then add it on your fulls. And you also want to make sure that when you are using these or adding on fulls, using any sort of glue over top of your tumbler, you wanna make sure that you have a nice, glossy, smooth surface. If you have sanded your tumbler, you will be able to see the scratch marks under the spots where you have tack it and maybe not have put anything over top of it. So just to be on the safe side, make sure that your tumbler has a glossy finish before you add anything on.
once we had all of our fools on, it was time to add on a glitter. I'm using Penny Lane, which is a perfect matching color from PDB Creative Studio to the copper textured vinyl that we used from TechRap Craft. Now, there were actually a few spaces still left on the tumbler that were tacky from the tacket and not being fully covered up with the fools, but just for viewing purposes, I did add on a little bit more tacket, allowed it to dry, and then just pretty much brushed on the copper glitter. I wanted it to be flat, just like the fools. So I brushed all that excess off and sort of rubbed the glitter in a little bit, just avoiding my main decal so I didn't rub any glitter underneath it. And then I went around the rest of the tumbler without adding any more tacket and did the same thing. If you have used the tacket to apply your fools before you add any more on, I would actually just test it out to see if there's just enough of that glue exposed to where it would grab a hold of some of your glitter. And if so, then that will be plenty enough to add your glitter on instead of adding more tacket. Once I had the glitter coverage that I would like, I brushed off all of that excess glitter and went over twice with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat to seal everything in. I used a coat of Artistry's 1 to 1 ratio fast set. This epoxy dries incredibly fast, so after 45 minutes, I was able to add on my second and final coat of the regular Artistry epoxy. You can use the fast set as your top coat. However, here in North Carolina, the humidity is now around 100% daily. So that can affect the curing process and also cause it to become a little tacky even after fully cured. So I just top off with Artistry regular epoxy until I get a dehumidifier for my craft room. I hope that y'all have all enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love this tumbler. I'm obsessed with the Highland Cows, so this decal is everything. <laughs> I will be having a tumbler sale with all the tumblers that I have made in my tutorials very soon, so make sure you are following us on Instagram and are part of our Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Group to be notified whenever I add these to inventory on our website. All the products I used are down in the description below along with some discount codes. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. That is all for today. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.